So why would you want multi-sided tokens on roll 20? So let's say you're fighting a group of bandits, right? Uh, if you go the normal route, you're going to have the same looking bandit every time. If you have five bandits, they're all going to look the same. Uh, but if you take the time to create custom tokens ahead of time, then you could give them a little bit of an identity. So I'm going to show you how to do that. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, let me import the tokens that I'm going to use into the application. So give me a second. I should have done that earlier. My bad. Uh, go into my tutorials. Okay, so I'm going to import all the tokens. And I found a bunch of art online and that's what I'm going to that's what I'm going to go with. And I went ahead and made the tokens ahead of time on Token Stamp, which is a great little token maker app that's on the web. Uh, token Stamp. So I'm going to make bandits. How do we do that? We're going to go up here. There's a tool up here called the Rollable Tables tool. And that's up here on the little, on the right here, those three lines there. Uh, you're going to see macros, decks, and rollable tables. You're going to go to the rollable tables, and you're going to add a table. New table. Uh, we'll call this bandits, because that's what we're doing. Add item. Uh, new item. We'll call this bandit1. Drop a file, and we're going to go into our art gallery here, and drop one of these tokens. And there he is, save changes, boom. Add item, bandit two. And we're gonna go into our art gallery and drop a second token here, save changes. You see what I'm doing here? Really easy. Bandit three, we're gonna drop a third token. It's this dude, all right. Oops, I save changes I shouldn't have. Add item. We're going to do a fourth token here. Oh, this is Bandit 4. You don't even need to really name these guys. I just do it because I like to. I try to be organized. But there's really no need to. Add item. This is our fifth and last Bandit. This dude here. Bandit 5. Perfect. So we have a rollable table here. You'll see it here with the Bandits. I'm going to delete these guys here and delete these guys here to avoid confusion. And token. And here it drops the token. We're going to create a, uh, we're going to pull the bandit monster off the compendium here. Here he is. And the reason I do this is so I have a character sheet available for him uh, in my journal. So there he is. Now when I go to my journal, I'll have a bandit here that I can play with. So here's my bandit. All right. We're going to go into the token we created, and we're going to assign him to that bandit. Now that token belongs to that bandit. All right. So he is now assigned. He represents the bandit character. We're going to edit the bandit, the actual character, remove the default token, Yes, delete. And we're going to add the selected token. There he is. Great. Save. Save. Delete. Now when we pull the bandit into the table, check this out. There he is with the new token. Oh, but newbie, you said it was a multi-phase token. Yes, I did. Out. We pull out a second bandit, we right click it, multi sided, choose side. Now you can tell this bandit you want him to look like that. And the third bandit, choose side, you could tell him you want him to look like this. Wait, there's more. This bandit, uh, you could tell him you want him to look like uh, this dude. And suddenly all your bandits have their own identity and personality, but they're all coming out of one monster, the bandit monster. 
It's just their tokens are different because you've created a multi-faced token for it. Now your players can uh, refer to specific bandits, the bandit with the hat, the bandit with the red shirt, instead of the generic looking bandit. And you can give the bandits each a specific personality if you so uh, desire. It's very easy. It's very easy to do, and it's it, it, it's worth doing if you if you plan on uh, using these NPCs as uh, characters other than just generic villains. You you can give them personalities, you can give them a look, and you can have them be unique. Uh, you could do the same thing with goblins. You know, if you have a you, you could give goblins different looks. You can have a goblin with an eye patch. You can have a goblin with a uh, I don't know, funny hair or whatever. You can give your, your monsters and NPCs uh, different looks. And that's all here in the rollable table. Um, you could also do a, a random thing, right? Where you drop the, the bandit here and you can have him be a uh, random. You could just pick it at random and there you go. It rolls it randomly and, and off you go. You don't have to really worry about picking it yourself you can let the computer do it if you so like very easy very easy and it's definitely worth definitely worth doing let me see what other tips do I have you, that also applies um, for example to let's do hold on let me do this let's do um, terrain effects right and I'll show you what I mean by that. Terrain effects. Let me see if I find it. I may not have it. Let's go to the let's go to the door here. Let's find a door here in the a pit. Let's find a pit. So you have a pit. Here's a pit. Here's a pit. So you want to do that. Let's just go with these, right? So maybe you want to create a, a trap, right? So you create your rollable table. You're going to call it pit trap. All right. Save changes. Uh, you're going to go here, add item. Your first item is going to be the, uh, the grate. Your second item is going to be the open pit. And, you know, I'm using whatever I find. These aren't too similar but whatever it's just you get the point all right let's go to a map here um let's find a let me create a new page let me find a map dungeon map here uh, dungeon tile right here let's put this here okay and let's put our new rollable table here All right roll uh, token here it is uh, we say it is a drawing because it is boom right now check this out your players are walking around uh, let's put this on the map layer Let's put this guy on the map layer as well. All right, so now your players are walking around here and they stumble upon a trap. And if you want to be a jerk DM, you could tell them, oops, uh, your guy falls into a pit trap. Boom, and it changes uh, in front of your player's eyes. And you already had it set up. It was ready to go. It was an easy, easy thing for you to do all through the rollable tokens tool. So 
that's it. It's super simple, super easy, not not too complicated, and it adds a little bit of adds a little bit of a flair to your game and a little bit of uh, uniqueness to your NPCs and to your your dungeons. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my rum. Uh, you guys enjoy your Friday night, and I'll catch you around. Ciao.